Limerick started this game with 13 of the team that played against Tipperary and changes in attack saw Brian Geary and Niall Morden start for the first time in the championship. This game was close and competitive in the opening minutes, but this fine effort by Graeme Mulcahy had Limerick leading three points to no score after seven minutes. Tommy Fitzgerald showed good vision to find Willie Highland. This the first of his three scores in the first half. Shane Dowling delivered this well-directed ball to Graeme Mulcahy. The Kilmallock man showed his craft and speed to slip inside Garode Burke to score this cracking point. James Ryan delivered this long ball to Niall Morden, who transferred it quickly to David Breen to score the opening goal of the game, and his powerful shot gave leash keeper Owen Riley no chance. Niall Morden hit the first of his three goals on 23 minutes for Limerick, but not before Owen Riley made a brave effort to save. Willie Highland hit this point, his third and all in injury time, but Limerick were in control at half time and led 2-10 to three points. Leash needed to improve and they did. Highland added a free and this score from Stephen Maher, six minutes into the second half, gave Leash some hope. Willie Highland scored 110 of his sides and won 11. But this score in the third quarter was the best of them. The Leash revival was short lived. Niall Morden hit two goals in two minutes. Declan Hannon cut through the centre, passed to Dowling who flicked to Morden for the perfect finish. David Breen did most of the hard work for Morden's third goal, but Morden was cool as he calmly slotted home. The game was well gone from Leash, but to their credit they never stopped working. Willie Highland showed his class and finished this ball to the corner of the net. Shane Dowling and Tommy Quaid added further goals to Limerick. It was a difficult evening for Leash, but progress at minor and under 21 level could well point to a brighter future. It finished at the Gaelic Grounds, Limerick 6-21, Leash 1-11. It was a game we had to win, obviously. It was a championship game, it was a knockout game, the first knockout game we've had this year. So, uh, obviously it was very important, you know, it was a rite of passage to the next game. So, I was pleased that we managed to score 6-21 and, you know, um, you know we, we, we get to play Anton the next day. All right, and that's you know all Limerick could do, but it's a horrible defeat for Leash, Eddie. Yeah, I suppose it's it's very hard to face into you know two big defeats in, in the sporting hero when he's growing up. It's not Michael Dignan.